Hello. Tonight we're going to read the Sublime Miss Stacks. Our librarian, Mr. Stephen, is very good at his job. He is very, very good at helping everyone find books, and he is very, very, very good at shushing loud talkers. Shh. But when it comes to arts and crafts, or show and tell, or story time, well, he tries his best. For those sorts of things, Mr. Stephen asks another librarian for help. The Sublime Miss Stacks. Ta-da! It's so nice to see you again, and to be seen, my darlings. Although he's never there to see it, he hears all about how much everyone has, how much fun everyone has with Miss Stacks during arts and crafts. There's no such thing as too much glitter, and it looks sublime hung here. Something that's sublime, my darlings, is wonderful, like this glittery masterpiece or this divan. A divan is like a couch, but much better after. Brunch nap for after brunch naps. And brunch is like breakfast, but it's also like lunch. And doesn't that sound sublime and delicious? Pick up your crayons. Let's draw pictures of brunch. And story time! Once upon a time, my darlings, Miss Stax's stories are always filled with brave princesses and silly robots and smart kid detectives and cute puppies and buried treasure. And best of all, she acts out all the voices. And even show and tell. Lots of people adore playing soccer. Did you know soccer is called football in Europe, my darlings? Isn't that a kick? Now, show and tell us what you go gaga for. Oh, a board game. That's B-O-A-R-D, not B-O-R-E-D, which isn't boring at all. So don't let anyone tell you different. And I bet you love hiking in the woods. These are the right shoes for that adventure. Today, Oscar raised his hand and asked, What do you love to do, Miss Stax? Me? Well, I love to lip sync, she said. What's a lip sync, he asked. Miss Stax ran over to the checkout des desk and said very loudly, Well, I'm so glad you asked. Suddenly, two people popped out from behind the desk. Hola! I am Biblioteca. My dad is from Ireland and mi madre is de Mexico. I'm Almanac and I'm all about that database. My librarian sisters and I are going to show you what a lip sync is, darlings, right now, said Miss Stax as she hit play on her phone. The three librarians began to dance and move their mouths, pretending to sing along to the music. Everyone clapped and danced along as Miss Stax and her sisters lip-synced to lots of songs from a long, long time ago, the 1980s. One song was about girls just wanting to have fun. Another was about starting a job at 9 a.m. and ending at 5 p.m. There was even a silly song about men, not rain, coming down from the sky. After each song ended, Miss Stax asked everyone what we thought the words meant and how the music made us feel. It was like talking about poetry, but with a dancey beat. Then, during a very exciting song about expressing yourself, Miss Stax spun so fast her hair flew right off her head and landed on top of the magazine shelves. But Miss Stax just shrugged her shoulder pads, put her hair back on her head, and asked, Well, my darlings, what have I taught you? I learned that red and blue make purple. 
I learned about the Constitution. I learned about Paris and the days of the week. I learned about Paris Fashion Week. I learned to stand up for myself. I learned to stand out. Miss Stack smiled so much she started to cry. Oh, my darlings, my darlings, I was going for the show must go on, but I guess you learned all that too. And then she smiled and cried even harder when she realized her makeup was running down her cheeks. After some more songs, more songs are called encores, my darlings, said Miss Stax. The three lip-syncing librarians said goodbye and danced away. Soon after they left, Mr. Stephen came back. What did I miss? he asked. He listened as everyone told him all about Biblioteca and Almanac and the lip-syncing and the dancing and the music and, of course, Miss Stax. Wow, he said, I'm sorry I missed it. After we had gone home, eaten our dinner, and finished our homework, we lip-synced and danced and talked about how much fun we had at the library today. Because even though Mr. Stephen is a very good librarian, Miss Stax is sublime. Shh. The end. Hope y'all enjoyed. Special shout out to William and Charles. I love y'all. Good night.